if we do not build on the agreement that was reached in Cairo last month, in, in the end of August, and we do not have the step two and that is step three of the agreement, which means the reconstruction, the lift of the blockade, and in the end, the Palestinian state, we will always go back and back to violence. What I have said and that I, what I will discuss with my European colleagues is the fact that we need the substance of it. We can discuss about recognizing a Palestinian state, but we need a Palestinian state. That is the ultimate goal. And we are asking all in this moment, not in three months, not in six months, not in one year, all in this moment to restart a political process that can lead to the two-state solution. <laughs> Any peace process needs two things, political will and political leadership. If you have one without the other, you're not going to go anywhere. And I believe, and I started to put all my pressure on the Israeli authorities, to say that having settlements and at the same time saying that they're ready to go for the two-state solution is a contradiction in terms. My goal, our goal, is to try and be effective in moving the dialogue so that we manage to stop the settlements to happen and we reopen the political perspective of the two states with some credibility.